Welcome back to A Bus and Beyond and today we're doing a few jobs on the van. It's a lovely day, it's sunny, a little bit chilly at times but yeah we're gonna, well the main job we're gonna do is fit this Max Fan Dome. This is gonna be our ventilation for in the uh, in the shower room, just need to cut another hole in the roof. But before we do that I'm just gonna show you what we have already done today. You're noisy, you need to keep your panting down a bit. Well, one of the first things we've done is this, you can see, carpeted, this lovely bit of the sliding door. Um, it was pointed out to me in one of the videos, I mentioned that we'd ordered the kitchen already, uh, which is gonna overlap here. And someone actually said, well, make sure you do the sliding door, finish that off before you uh, fit your kitchen. And it's a good job they said that because I probably wouldn't have thought of that. Fitted it, obviously the kitchen's gonna overlap here. So then you can't get to the sliding door. So. I've insulated behind there, put a bit of sand deadening, put uh, yeah, a bit of the this stuff here, you can see this like recycled plastic, the dodo uh, fleece. And then um, I've actually used the existing plastic bits that go in here and just carpeted them because they seem, oh, I did buy some plywood, you can see it on the floor. But I think, I think this is gonna be fine. All I'd be doing is cutting that to the same shape as that, so. But we've lost a piece. Yeah, I've lost, I can't find that bit. It's in the garage somewhere, which is an absolute mess. So I'll find it at some stage, but obviously this bit is not as essential as this bit because the, this is above the kitchen. So that's okay. So yeah, I've done that. that looks, I'm really pleased with that actually, it looks good. We've got some, we've already ordered some blinds. So they'll be coming in the next few weeks. Uh, what else did I do? Oh, I also, um, for the diesel heater, I need to get a feed from the diesel tank, onboard diesel tank. So this morning I uh, tapped into the diesel tank to, to get a feed from that. So I'll show you what I did there. All I'm doing, I've just put a jack underneath and then you just need to loosen off some of these, um, these ones here, look. Loosen some of these straps or we'll take two of them off the rear ones and then just loosen the front one. I've taken the back one off, the straps are taken, well, I've loosened that side off and then just spun it round. So essentially that this middle one is off. And then the front one, I have dropped off this side, but it's kept it connected that side. So it doesn't fully come off just cause it'd be a bit easy to put on. Obviously got the jack underneath just to support the weight. Try and get your fuel tank as low as possible just so it's not too heavy so i've only got about 25 miles of range left in the fuel tank so it's probably about a gallon i would have thought um yeah so and then you can lower the jack down slightly just to bring the diesel tank down a bit and then we'll have a look at where the actual sender attaches onto so this is what i've bought this is a kit that comes it's uh, designed for sort of eberspatcher and Robasto heaters uh, but yeah let's have a look inside here so if you were to remove the fuel sender unit uh, from out of the tank this is what it would look like and this piece here is actually the top of an extra supply that VW have put inside the tank it's closed off at the minute we just have to snip the top off that and then attach this uh, sort of adapter elbow adapter onto the top it clips on and then you pick up your fuel supply from that, uh, attach that to a fuel pump, a diesel pump, and yeah, you'll be able to wire that, uh, plumb that into your diesel heater, hopefully. Right, so before I go under there, I've just attached the fuel line to that elbow adapter, just using a bit of um, rubber hose, and then these clips as well that attach it all in, just because it'd be a lot harder to do that underneath the van. Right, let's go and have a look underneath. Right, so you can see this is the fuel tank dropped, gives you access to this. This is the sender unit. I don't know if you can see beyond. Let me try and get a bit, bit of a better angle. It's this yellow bit here. This yellow bit here that we're after. So I just need to snip the top off that and then attach our elbow bracket. So right, as you can see, I've now chopped the top bit off. Not the easiest to do. <laughs> It's, it's a bit tight, but um, anyway, yeah, it's off at least. I, I wasn't sure how far I needed to cut off. I literally just took the tiny top bit off at first, but the uh, yeah, there's still no hole there, so I've taken 
a bit more off so the actual dome bit is off and uh, yeah, hopefully that's not too much. I've not got enough hands to actually film it and put it on but it, it uh, slotted on with a nice satisfying click so that's the main thing. Right, I'm not fitting the diesel heater just yet so I'm just going to coil up the rest of the, the, rest of the uh, fuel line and then just cable tie it to the chassis until we actually get round to fitting the diesel heater. So what is it we're installing? This is the MaxFan Dome. Uh, basically it's a, a ventilation fan, 12 volt ventilation fan that slots into the roof. It has, we've gone for the one that has a little light uh, inside it. You can see that here. So that, that little will be on the inside so it has a light that you can turn on and off. And it's also the black version as well. Now this has been sent to us by Leisure Vehicle Services. They are um, actually sort of a, a trade account. They actually supply uh, companies with these products. So you can't actually buy it direct from them, but I'll link in the description below where you can buy it from. It's pretty funky. It doesn't actually provide any natural light into the shower room, but we're happy with that. Um, you're not in the loo for that long most of the time. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we're quite happy just to rely on the 12 volt light. Uh, but yeah, we need to cut a hole in the roof, obviously, fit that in and uh, work out how we're gonna sort of finish it at the bottom as well. Also to help out, because the roof, I don't even remember when we did the other Max fan, the actual big skylight, the roof on the Crafter and most fans has ridges in it, which uh, if this falls on one of those ridges, it's really hard to get it nice and secure uh, you have to really pack it out with silicon or like bitumen tape and all that kind of stuff. But thankfully, there's someone at North Devon Camper Vans. I found it on Facebook, North Devon Camper Vans, who makes these 3D printed adapters. So they're really cool. That that means that you can fit this perfectly with inside that, and it has little ridges that sort of fit perfectly on top of the roof of the van. Should be a bit easier to get on the roof this time compared to when we did the skylight because we've got the roof rack and the extendable ladder so I can actually walk around on that whereas last time we had to, well, I had to buy a big ladder to be able to fit up there because it was it's still pretty precarious. Look at that, perfect. One of the hardest things about all these kind of jobs is working out exactly where you're going to put it because cross-referencing the measurements from the inside to outside is quite tricky on a van. There's, uh, you need like a datum to be able to work it out from. So there's a bit of a crease in the van where it's all joined together. So I'm hoping that that's the same on the inside as it is on the outside, but we'll find out. There's Daddy on the roof, Bentley. Are you a bit worried about this? Where's he gone? Up the reef, you can't get up there though. Well, I hope you can't. Yeah, he's just worried about you. I need to fit it between 42 and 72 on the crease. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. So, Sean has measured twice. So you can only cut once. <laughs> You're only allowed to Hopefully. One, cut. one cut only. One cut only. He's just drawing around the template at the moment. In pencil on a dark green van. Yeah, in pencil on a dark green van, if you didn't hear that. So that's smart, isn't it? I'm sure it'll work. The smarter solution is a chalk pen. <laughs> Good idea. Good idea. Beautiful makes such a difference. Where would you be without me? Still up here. Still. <laughs> Drawing in pencil. Um, so that's the circle I've drawn around the inside of this. And yeah, you can see where it, it sort of slots beautifully in between these two ridges, which helps massively. Right now I need to cut it out. Well, 
let's hope that's in the right place. So let's check underneath. So I drilled the hole at the front and yeah, that fits in between these two quite nicely. Right, let's cut the hole out. There we have it, the hole is cut out. You can see all the way through. Annoyingly though, we put a bag underneath to catch the filings. But I didn't notice that that was going to fall quite so quick. <laughs> Hello. Hello. So the filings have gone everywhere. Oh no, we'll have to hoover, hoover mad. silicon job in the world but it does the job I suppose hopefully it's a bit messy it's quite hard to get in here to smooth it off I don't want to keep touching it because that just ruins it but um, yeah anyway so the uh, adapter is silicon onto the roof and then the max fan dome is silicon onto the uh, adapter well I say silicon I'm using Sigaflex 221 which is a that stuff there which is a um it's for caravans and motor homes and that kind of stuff so it has a little bit of flex in it but it, it is an adhesive uh but now i need to run some of the, the screws that come with it i think through that through the adapter and through the roof so i'm just building out of a little bit of about 12 mil MDF. I'm just building a bit of a framework so that when the screws go through the roof, they're not just held in by the metal, which is really thin in the, in the roof of the van. So they'll go through into this adapter. So I've just measured out a square and then drawn around the collar that goes on the inside just to create yeah a bit of a framework for it to sit in. Find the right bit of the table. with the jigsaw. It's all right, doesn't it? Goes through. Oh, I should mention as well, when I did the roof, I drew the circle but i forgot to mask out the roof so i masked out the jigsaw instead <laughs> and it seemed to work it stopped it from scratching at least but yeah should really have masked i didn't want to then put masking tape over the top because then i'd have to draw my hole again it's not easy getting up and down this anyway look at that doesn't need to be perfect it's all going to be hidden but just gives a, a fixing at least right let's go <laughs> terrified You've got to. <laughs> right, well, I have drilled through and put the screws in. What I should have done, I siliconed it and then I did that. Well, sicker flexed it and then I did that. I should have sicker flexed, put it on, 
put the screws through and then sicker flexed around it because basically I've had to sicker flex it again because when I put the screws in, it just, it moved all the sicker flex. It didn't look very good. Well, it, it just, it unsealed it basically. But <laughs> um, yeah, putting sicker flex on again over the top, I, it's really messy. But I was just worried, I'll show you. All right, well, don't judge me. I ain't no pro at this. It looks like I've iced a cake. <laughs> but basically, it, like, it, it was okay doing around the edge here, but I needed to get some Sycoflex on the top because I put screws through there, so I don't want it to leak. So I've obviously completely filled it up with Sycoflex. Hey? I can't get up there. Yeah, Lizzie, Lizzie's the one to do this, but obviously being pregnant, she can't get up here, but she's much better at this stuff. But she can't get up, I'm not letting her get up a ladder. But you know, it's not the it's not the end of the world. No one comes up here, do they? So who cares, really? I, the main thing, I'd, I'd, I'd take it not leaking over it looking pretty. Now it does actually come with this, which you can fit over if you want to, um, but it's mainly designed for if you have, you can wall mount this vent. So you could put it on the side of the van if you wanted to in certain situations. So if you, if you wall mount it, then you have to put this on because obviously if it rains, it can just sit sit on the top the water can so you put that on on uh, over the top of the vent if you, like i say if you want to you can put this on if you roof mount it but we need to be a little bit too close to this slat for it to fit and um i would only be putting it on to make it look pretty you don't have to use this when it's on the roof because um you basically just don't drive with it open really um I don't think this means, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this means that if you put this on, you can drive with it open, but I don't know. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. But I would be in the same situation. If I was gonna put this on just to try and hide how bad my sicker flex is, I'm, well, I'd only have to sicker flex this because this screws on. So you just see a mess again, just uh, on the top of this. So yeah, we'll stick with that. And we won't bother with this. You can see the framework that we put in the screws that come with the max fan um, are not long enough to go through the adapter because we bought that separately uh, go to go through the adapter the roof of the van and into this mdf bit so i had to put longer screws on that's why i was the slightly different shapes that's why i was worried about um making sure they don't leak so that's why there's tons of sicker flex on there but they now go into this bite into that lovely and secure and you can see, so we've got some wires coming down. These are for the 12 volt. So basically what happens is when you, this is the normal position, closed, then you press the button and open it. And when you open it, the fan will start. There's a little fan inside. So the fan will start, draw the air out of the shower room, toilet room. And then when you shut it again, it'll um, stop the fan. Then. We will obviously, once we've built the ceiling, put that on, we will then put the other part which has the LED light in and that will then close all this up. So you, say, you won't see the wood uh, and it'll just make it a lot neater and tidier. I'm probably gonna leave this open just for the time being, just because because of my <laughs> rubbish silicon in. I don't want it to, I don't want anywhere where I've maybe overlapped to, touch this when it's shut and then you can't plumb and open it because I've siliconed it shut. So I'm going to leave it for now. Just let the uh, silicon go off. And uh, yeah, it's, it's all designed to have that open if it is raining. That's not an issue. You can leave it open if it's raining. But uh, good yeah. work. We got there eventually. <laughs> I'll tell you what, every time we do these jobs, we, I always have to race to B&Q for something. And, and leave me holding <laughs> that up. <laughs> I, the, I actually gave up because I'm like, I'm, I'm done. Yeah, it's not, it's <laughs> not like, too if much. If it falls out, I don't care. <laughs> it's not too much of an issue because this time, whereas when we did that one, it was just held in place. We'd actually, I'd actually put a dob of a dob, a blob of um, sicker flex to hold it to the ceiling, so it was unlikely to come down anyway. But yeah, it's just a bit more, a bit better peace of mind that the screws go through this 
as well as the ceiling, not just the thin bit of metal, especially when you're pushing on this each time. Like when Harvey gets older, he'll be ham-fisted and he'll just go, mm, like that, so. He's already very tall, so he's, he's getting close to being <laughs> I don't think he's to... that tall, though. <laughs> he's getting close to being yeah. able to reach it. Yeah. But yeah, that's good. That's one job. Well, that was the, the main job that was holding back from doing the ceiling, so at least now that is in and we can crack on. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please uh, like if you've enjoyed the video, um, even if, especially like it if you think my silicon is terrible, because then, uh, yeah, that gives us a nice gauge. But um, yeah, it really helps us out if you subscribe to the channel and there's obviously plenty more videos coming because look at the state of this. There's a lot more to do. There's a lot more to clean up as well. <laughs> I, could, I could do about 10 videos just on tidying the garage. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. Cheers. Concealant specialist there, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> trolling me like, right in front of me as soon as we go and get Harvey from nursery. Spent all day trying to silicon. Could have just popped around and done it in two seconds. I knew I'd not been pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't need this. <laughs>